So, Yuan John is a master of changing his. <laughs> it's it's because he just went to uh, uh, Yuan John Silver's and got a uh, surf and turf platter. Watch the triangulation. I hope this isn't traumatizing for you. <laughs> <laughs> Bloop. I feel like I'm in a child pageant show. I don't even see John anymore. I just see a triangle. <laughs> In this video, I specifically made this request for Uncle Leck to analyze John's movement, and this is the first time we're all watching it together. So, without further ado, brothers, are you ready? I am, uh, I am ready. All right, everyone, Majestic Mirth asked that Uncle Weck break down this extraordinary feat of picking up this piece of paper with the mouth. I'm already uncomfortable with the fact that in this video, he is controlling my body. Hey, you, you, had, you had to give him credit. He is setting the scene, as we would say. So what I'm going to show you here is how he triangulates. He knows how to have the foot and the foot and the sits bones. For those who don't know what the sits bones are, DJ, explain what the sits bones are. See, we have this uh, ischial tuberosity that we usually sit on and balance our weight over. It's sacred geometry. See, John, these are the things you didn't even know that you did. No, no, this is new to me. At any moment in time, he can be balanced here, he can be balanced there, he can be balanced there, he can be balanced, balanced here. And what you're gonna see him do here. Do you guys hear the dogs in the background? Mm. Uncle Wex has been studying this footage for the past, like, 72 hours and forgot to feed his dogs. If you look on the chart, the ovaries are very <laughs> distended in this individual. Watch the triangulation. So you're going to watch his triangulation of here and here with here and here. And he can balance on anything. Uh, I'm excited to learn more about triangulation, personally. Mm. Um, but but I, I do feel... Um, I do feel used, um, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. I think what he's describing is just uh, a principle applicable to all humans on this planet and non-humans. Mm. Where do these three points come from? Uh, what are the three points of the triangle? It's sacred geometry. Let's continue to watch and find out. Through <laughs> there, it's amazing. So ready, here we go. So let's, let's, let's actually enjoy the whole thing. Let's go back here and sort of, right? Because this, this is artistry. All right, so look, look at the intent here. He's coming here, boom, puts that down. Just look at the way he moves his body. I had never knew you moved with such intent, John. I feel like my eyes have been robbed of me this entire time. Puts that down. Just look at the way he moves his body. Yeah. He moves with tremendous efficiency. So watch, boom. Head over foot on that top foot. Mm. Shakes that foot out just a little bit. First thing he's going to do now is to connect the triangulation. It's sacred geometry. Boom. Finds this pose. Okay. So right now he's on that lateral edge of this foot here. This knee is coming in the, into the direction to be right lined in here. He's got the crease folding in the crease here. And he's got this crease here. <laughs> Uh, number one, I, I love Uncle Weck so much. Number two, uh, yeah, it, now this makes total sense. I'm never going to watch anyone uh, go down the same way without seeing a triangle um, in their crotch. It's beautiful. <laughs> it looked like the Hulk was coming out for a second. Uh, maybe this is due to my poor uh, or lack of self-esteem, but I feel like uh, Uncle Weck is being very charitable with his compliments so far. Either I move with tremendous efficiency, or Uncle Weck is just very impressed that I didn't lose balance. Uh, regardless, I am grateful, um, though my imposter syndrome has now been strengthened. I feel like I'm in a child pageant show, like where the mom just profusely compliments the child for doing very, very simple things, but also in front of the judge. John, I, I hope this isn't traumatizing for you. Can we make descend into the tri triangulation the name of this video? <laughs> <laughs> Descent or descending into the triangulation? Notice how his shin angle and his spine angle 
are descending essentially congruent here and he's on the outside of this so this is big old big old left glute <laughs> <laughs> one, one more time jonathan big old big old left glute your glute is approximately a fifth of your body now all the disney uh, subliminal messaging is starting to make sense boom there's that triangulation see that triangulation right there i, I would be very disappointed if it didn't draw like a little illuminati eye all i could see is triangles now so this is a triangle and then it triangulated to here this the the tail end of it is going to dip down and come up and then way back out there but so he's got these triangles right and remember what i talked about in terms of his base of support so what he's going to do is just going to keep this <laughs> this line he's going to keep tracking here He's just going to keep tracking through the line so that, again, his feet and his pelvis can be his base of support at his command. At this point, it's legitimate to uh, just create training modalities based on the shape of the body. Rhomboidism, uh, pa parallelogram uh, ifications. I myself prefer uh, squareifications. It, it would be just as valid as the movement patterns uh, we use, squat, hinge, pull press true we want to descend with our triangulation what's your triangulation pr today and so it's boom 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 now watch now he's got to get that counterbalance action but he's balancing on his foot just that outside edge of the foot that he could bring right to his pelvis and balance there and now look at this he's still got about eight nine inches to go whoa <laughs> can he take it all <laughs> <laughs> I don't even see John anymore. I just see a triangle. <laughs> One more time for the people. And now look at this. He's still got about eight, nine inches to go. Whoa, he's six inches away. Look at that. All he's doing is just found that balance. Look, if you want to go the whole eight inches, you gotta, you just got to find your triangulation and descend into it. To recap, he's balancing on that pelvis. He's still got about eight to nine inches to go. Whoa six inches <laughs> where do you get those pants those pants uh, were actually given to me or forced upon me by uncle weck gave me the pants and said no questions all will be revealed in about three years time they provide you with the maximal comfort for maximal triangulation they're actually built of uh exponential force elastics so the harder you fight against it the harder they fight back and now watch you're gonna tilt the whole thing watch get that little bit er, 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 er. look at him <laughs> watch get that little bit er, er, er. Why are you backing up a U-Haul, John? <laughs> you think that's the only time he's done this? <laughs> DJ, how do you feel about that experience? I enjoyed it a lot. <laughs> and I'm just hoping I could get that out of my head. Right here, this whole relationship. He's an artist. Now look, look at, look at the way it comes up from that triangulation. Look, it's just right there. Boom. Heavy investment on that left. All right, just unfold. Boom. All right. That wasn't so big a deal. Now we enjoy the show here. Bloop. Can we make a lo-fi mix with just the sound effects from, from this? <laughs> I'm excited to hear what you guys have learned. This will take me some time to process. I mean, it, it, makes, it makes sense. You know, I think he's seeing a pattern. And now we know the, the secret behind the the panda yun it is the sacred geometry of triangles that he's learned to harness and alchemize into the language of uh an isosceles I'd, li I'd like to make one one slight uh correction there not john yuan this is yuan yuan john <laughs> that is what we have to call john <laughs> the uncle little john never told you about is right here Uncle Weck, thank you for your beautiful analysis. The fact that this was free content, so much value for your, your attention. Um, I, I would like to 
to quote、uh, one of our friends from FRC. You have to become a black belt in verbal cueing quickly in this pandemic world where we work virtually. And after watching this video, I think I understand what it means to be a black belt in verbal cueing. You know, John, since this is your body,、um, it's a is representation. It is it? Is it? So? <laughs> it's, a, it's a physical manifestation. You're an artist. You know, your art is not. Meant to convey who you are,、uh, but how other people relate to your body. Bing b o o p Thank you for watching <laughs> this segment. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Bye, guys. <laughs>